What happened at Chernobyl on April 26, 1986 is by far the worst nuclear disaster in history. It all happened during routine maintenance at Lenin Nuclear Power Station. The workers wanted to use the downtime to test if they could be able to cool the reactor during power outages. A few poor decisions, including a poorly designed experiment, led to a chain reaction in the core that went out of control. Several explosions created a massive fireball that literally blew off the steel and concrete lid of the reactor, and the fire in the graphite reactor core released insane amounts of radioactive material into the atmosphere that was carried across great distances. On April 27, 1986, the evacuation began. What ensued was the hardest effort at containing a man-made disaster that eventually took many lives and cost hundreds of thousands of people their homes. Estimates say that the surrounding area affected by the nuclear disaster won't be habitable for about 20,000 years. Since then, a lot of strange events took place in the affected areas. Here are some of the weirdest byproducts of the worst nuclear disaster in history. A brand new Ferris wheel opened early. This one may not be a byproduct of radiation, but a reaction of the government to the disaster itself. The amusement park in Pripyat, where the nuclear power plant was located, was scheduled to open on May 1st, 1986, exactly five days after the nuclear incident. According to some reports, the Ferris wheel at the amusement park was opened early on April 27th to keep residents calm as they reel from the trauma and prepare for the evacuation. Between 100,000 and 200,000 pregnancies were terminated due to radiophobia. The fear of radiation, or radiophobia, led medical professionals in Western Europe to advise between 100,000 and 200,000 women to terminate their pregnancies. Right after the disaster, everyone believed that children would be born with health issues in areas where radiation spread, which was false. The World Health Organization concluded that the radiation doses were not enough to cause any health issues. Creepy doors arranged on abandoned beds and windowsills. For many years, it was believed that some kindergarten buildings and houses were haunted. Every once in a while, a door would pop up on a windowsill of a kindergarten or a house, which prompted the hazard crews to enter buildings where they would find dozens of doors neatly arranged on beds. However, it is believed that the doors were probably arranged by so-called disaster tourists, who organized secret photo shoots within the exclusion zone. Living in the exclusion zone is illegal. Though the water and soil are contaminated in the exclusion zone, some people still live there. Not long after the disaster, hundreds of locals returned to their villages, ignoring the safety warnings. These so-called self-settlers adjusted to the quiet life in the exclusion zone and have been living there for years. Most of them are women in their 70s and 80s, whom people call the Chernobyl babushkas. There are new breeds of dogs. The residents that were evacuated from the exclusion zone weren't allowed to take their pets with them. This means that all pets, mostly dogs, stayed behind to live in the areas affected by the radiation. According to SPCA International, a global animal rescue program, some dogs have fallen prey to wolves, but there is evidence that others mated with the wolves. Most dogs that live there now are larger than the average dog and they resemble wolves. The larger build has contributed to the fact that the radiation caused mutations in plants and animals to increase by a factor of 20. Rodents and birds come down with tumors and cataracts. For more than three decades, scientists have studied the effects of radiation on plants and animals. The radiation levels caused smaller animals such as insects, rodents and birds to display mutations. These mutations include cataracts, tumors and smaller brains. But scientists believe that this may stop appearing after a few generations and is not a permanent threat to the species. Cow milk has a radioactive isotope. During the disaster, a radioactive isotope cesium-137 was released. This isotope is so dangerous that it can pose a threat to humans for at least one generation. A study conducted in 2018 showed that cows are still consuming cesium-137 through vegetation and transferring the toxin to humans who drank their milk. The study also showed that milk from cows in certain Ukrainian villages far away from Chernobyl contained five times more cesium than it is safe for adult humans. Nowadays, there are trained guides who take tourists into the exclusion zone and share stories about important places. There is no risk of contamination, as long as you follow the guide. So, would you dare to visit Chernobyl if you had the chance? If yes, let us know in the comment section below.